Hello there YouTube once again. Well now today I'm going to run through my care, the way I look after my bearded dragon. It's a little unorthodox, it's a little different to what other people, some people will like it, some people won't, but I'm going to explain why and all that sort of stuff. Let's get right to it. My cool rack, all my frogs and stuff in there, a couple of geckos and down the bottom, all the way down there is the Now, <coughs> first of all, there's the cushion. Now, the majority of the time, all the time, we just leave his door open. He just jumps in and out and in and out, in and out, all the time. That's just the way he does it. There he is, sat up the back there. It's getting late, it's close to lights off time, so he's uh, getting ready for bed. But yeah, some people have probably already spotted a lot of things they don't like about this setup. Let me talk you through it. Firstly, 10.0 strip UVB bulb. Gets changed about every six months or so, normally about every five months, but six months or so. Now the background, I made it myself. Polystyrene, I think the Americans call it styrofoam. Load of tile grout, loads of paint, Mod Podge, which is like a sealant. We managed to fit in a few gauges in and about various places. So an electronic one down there. Here he is again. Made this uh, whole stand as well. You see down here, it's got big feet on the bottom, so it ain't gonna wobble anywhere. Oh, he's looking around. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. His sexy legs hanging down. <laughs> he's got a log over there. That's what only basks on. No. Nope. Salad bowl. Covered in calcium, as per usual, really. Thermostat probe up there. Bit of a plant there, just because sometimes he sleeps across there. Now, first problem everyone's probably noticed. Loose substrate. Well, there's a reason behind it. We did put him on um, tile to start with, but he's been kept on sand his entire life. And then when we got him as a rescue, you can see his claws just go straight down. No gentle curve, no nothing. You see a little white knuckle if it focuses. The little white piece there is the extra added bit. Now, that's because it's been kept on sand. It's been dead soft, so his toe goes straight across and then straight down for the claw. And it was hurting his feet. So we've put him on this. It seems to be working just fine for him. He's happy as Larry. I don't know how happy Larry is, but he's happy. He loves it. Fully custom made, Viv. That bar in the middle, that's just to add a bit of strength to add for the other two little three foot Vivs on the top. And then the next thing people are not gonna like is the bulbs. Now, this one is a heat emitter. It's simply just there for the cold winter nights. Lifts his ambient temperature up a little bit. It does get cold in this house at night. And then this one, some people are going to say, why is there no guard on it? Why is there not a cage around it? Well, years ago, we had a bearded dragon get his tail stuck in there, stuck in the cage, touched the light, burnt the end of his tail. So now we just take it off. As you can see, it's not fixed by anything at the top. So if it does touch it, just wobbles. As you can tell, it's not burning my finger. It's not going to burn his tail. Again, fully custom background. You can see those little holes there. That's because his humidity wasn't going low enough. So, we added a vent. Basically, that's it. We just added a vent. He gets fed on whatever he wants, whenever he wants it. Most of the time, salad. Every day, we chuck a load of locusts in. We like to let him hunt for his food. Which he does like doing, but most some of the time we we'll just drop it in front of his nose. Jobs are good, and he'll eat it up and he'll love it. Hello, Diego. Hello, mister. Yeah, you like that. And nope, they're the wrong ones. And 
Escaping locusts. There he is. Now normally we have a cricket keeper to um, dust his locusts in. Today, just a cup with a bit of calcium powder in the bottom of it. Bit dusted. Drop it straight in front of his face. Oh. It's feel generous. We'll give him another one. These are just treats. He's already had his food today. Bump straight out of the cup. I think he wants another one, don't we? Uh, straight in front of his face. Dump. Both. Got it. Another one. There you go, mate. Must admit, he does like his locusts. But he's a happy little chappy, ain't you, matey? Never had a problem with him. We did go through a stage about six months ago where he wouldn't eat salad. He just refused to eat the salad. Turned his uh, ambient temperature up, as you can see. 29.4. 29 it was on 28. That seems to have done the trick. He smashes everything every time now. And it looks like he's going to fall off because he's a plonker. Right, Diego, say good night. Night, night, everybody. Night, night. As you can tell, there was no water dish in there. For some reason, he doesn't drink out of a water dish or anything like that. Well, not for some reason, it's fairly, fairly obvious. Um, every time I give him a bath, he'll have a bit of a drink then. That does it. He gets his uh, moisture from all the locusts, the crickets. Every now and then, we'll give him wax worms as a treat. But that's only a treat. He gets three or four a month, if that. Um, and he loves his salad. But that's Diego. Don't give me no hate comments on the loose substrate. I've explained why I've got it. But he's our little mates. First reptile we got, he's going to be with us forever. Anyway, from me and Diego, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Got more videos coming soon. Bye bye.